I wanted to say, when we say um, we're seeing, are we seeing what we want to see or are we seeing what we're actually seeing? And I say this because none of us are a blank page. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a normative or subjective opinion um, of what is social justice, what is democracy, um, what is or is not pro-poor, um, from whatever angle. I, I'm, I don't think that there's anything particularly wrong with that. And there's kind of a slightly defensive, in fact, slightly combative um, response from our, um, from our editors, which is perhaps unsurprising, because I mean, the whole issues around, I think um, Isap has mentioned, advertisers imperatives, it's absolutely true, and also shareholder interests, and the cost of those shareholder interests, the political and economic costs and agendas of shareholder interests, which again, have not really been spoken about. And in the midst of this, um, I think Monly called it this whole notion of um, festival ideas, um, I suppose it's kind of a, an, a, an inherent snobbiness of, of the print media um, as kind of the, some kind of a doyen of um, opinion makers, opinion leaders. And yet there's a whole notion of competing interests, the print media, news media, internet media, advertising in between that has um, the, uh, the ability to form and reform particular opinions and completely undermine a social justice or a kind of a progressive discourse that you may be trying to create. And I suppose the other thing is um, this whole notion of, I think, caricature, it's been, it's been mentioned. You know, if you get somebody from Kosatu or if you get somebody from the Free Market Institute, you're going to get absolutes. You're going to get an absolute opinion. And, and I suppose since we're talking about reporting on the economy, you're going to get a definite opinion, interest rates, uh, you, can't, you can't link interest to this, that or the other, inflation is this, that or the other, um, and all of this stuff. Um, and notwithstanding Haroon's important comments about the need for rigorous statistical data, and to interrogate, interrogate that data, I'm not getting the sense that news media is actually giving us the space and in, is, 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 is giving us the tools to interrogate that data. And I, I want to associate myself with the previous speaker about how, in the midst of this festival ideas, um, the, the, what, is, what we feel, what is perceived as alternative, different, radical, dangerous even, it's incredibly difficult to get articles, different articles, into various media. And I think myself, I've had this experience, and I think various people that I know who have a particular political, ideological perspective and are not afraid to say what they say and see what they see. I've had the same experience. So this whole notion that it's, it's value free, it's, it's, you know, you're welcome, you know, just, just, just pop us an email, just pop your, pop your article through the letterbox. It's just bunk, I have to say, it's just bunk. It's just not quite true. Um, and I think that this also links finally to the whole notion of how the, a majority position is being marginalized. Um, and we all, you know, I think a lot of us pe people here are seen as an alternative, this fringe left. We used to be called ultra left, 10 years ago, I don't know what we're being called now, but this whole ultra-left, fringe-left um, perspective of things. And yet the majority of people, it's linked to, it's to what um, I think a leader was saying, um, that the majority of people are excluded, women, um, low-income communities, people of color, um, and the whole notion that you know, gender, race, etc. issues were being reported at, not reported to. I listened to three different conversations, unfortunately I participated in two of them, um, on BE and what it is and is not doing, horrible stuff, really prosaic, cheesy, same old, same old stuff with the usual suspects. And again, we just did not get to the root of what BE is not doing, why it isn't doing it. You know, it depends on who, it depends on what your surname is, it depends on what you call um, BE, what you call development. But again, a, a story about who is a small business owner on the street, somebody who's got a chisanyama or whatever, or a chain of um, maguinya, selling maguinya, is, is, not, is not considered in this discourse. So I think we are, I see what I see. I don't think it's a perception. I see exactly what I see, and I, I'd like to insist that I see what I see. <laughs>